I'm knocking over stools. Welcome. We are live today here at my house with Willow, my niece. Deb's gone for the day, so we thought it'd be fun to come on and paint some thrift haul items. She's never painted with milk paint before. So I was like, hey, if you want to go live with me? I'll buy you lunch. She's actually on her way back to college and stopped by last night. So this is Willow. Hi, Hi Willow. I'm going to fix the lighting in here. It's a little dark. Hold on. Sorry, guys. We'll get going in a second. Caitlin's on to answer questions and drop links because I'm not used to going live without Zeb. So I was like, I need your help. Um, that's not what I want to do. I don't want to filter. I just want to make it brighter. How does one do that? thought that it, that one, hold on, Karen wants to join my video, Karen, I'm not having you join my video, that would be weird, my mom, Karen? yeah, your mom, <laughs> there we go, whoa, whoa, that, that is not what I wanted to do, okay, we're just not going to mess with it, <laughs> all right, let's get started painting, um, we do have a milk paint going on, sale going on right now, it's 20% off, no code needed at jamierayvintage.com. It ends tonight, November 28th, 2022 at 11.59 p.m. Also, buy any two brushes, save 20%, and we still have three of our stencils on sale. So I just want to remind you guys, because I always get the, I did, I missed your sale. All right, are you ready to do this? Yes. All right, so you got to find Jamie Ray Vintage. Oh. Not my personal page. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to pull up comments here. Okay, there we go. I'm usually better on camera, guys. Sorry. I'm bad when Zeb's not here. All right. Is your sound off? Yeah. It should be. Okay. Then we will pull up comments. There we go. Your mom's on here. She says, thought it meant to watch. <laughs> no, I totally could have like hit that and you would have been on the screen, Karen. All right. We're going to mix up milk papers. The fun thing about milk paint is that there is a color and Willow reminded me of this called Willow. <laughs> And it's like a super cute light blue green color and so she wanted to use the color with her name on it yeah yeah i see it in the shop every time i go and i <laughs> like hey that's what she gets paid no royalties when you order this color but you know whatever <laughs> um, we're going to be using farmhouse finishes which is milk paint but it's uh got a built-in like bond so it's not super chippy because i didn't think you wanted all the paint to chip off i was like that might be bad for your first time so what i'm gonna have you do is dump this in that cup so milk paint comes in powder form and you just have to add water to it. Do you have it? Yeah. You have a super uh, tiny little phone here. Yeah. Hopefully I can read those comments. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right. So it's one part milk paint to one part water. I'm going to do this because it's kind of hard to eyeball. And then stir it with a fork. You can always add more water, but you can't. We have no more willow. Only you. So... <laughs> If I add too much uh, water, then it would be bad. And the nice thing about farmhouse finishes is it actually milk, like, stirs up better than milk paint. Why is there a hide ad? Okay, I can't. Good morning, Jan. <laughs> All right, Will is just mixing up milk paint. I'm going to get started painting this elephant box that Zeb purchased. And then we are going to, if you guys saw on our Saturday thrift haul, we started painting these with milk paint on Saturday. And I'm going to show you how to finish these up. Um, they're all dry. This is the new color Birdie. And I painted a bunch of stuff with that. So I'm going to get Willow going first because she's never painted with milk paint. I think I got... Let me, let me check your work. You want it to be like a melted milkshake. That's actually kind of... Oops. <laughs> all right. I think that's great. It's great. Okay. <laughs> She's just going to use a little turquoise Irish brush to get on the, all the little details. Just go for it. Thank you, Caitlin. She just dropped a link to the sale. Yep. All right. I am going to paint this gray skies, cottage color, because I'm going to bring back some of this turquoise and then maybe do white. How's it going? Your um, skill level is next level. She's got the bottom almost out of the way done. So the thing with cottage colors is that... It has a built-in sealer, so you want to make sure you stir it. Otherwise, all the sealer's at the top and the paint's at the bottom. And I always forget that because DIY paint, you don't have to stir. Um, 
Uh, Diane, Diane says, did my comment of not being ready to use milk paint prompt the heading? You know what, Diane? I was like, Diane has never used milk paint before, so I'm going to show her live Willow using it. So no pressure, but you got to look, make it look easy. Oh, jeez. How hard is this on a level of like one to ten? Probably like a three. It's pretty easy. It's pretty easy. It is thinner, so you have to be careful because yeah. it will drip more than DIY paint. And I actually probably made it a little thinner than I should, but so far I feel like you're doing excellent. Thanks. I do what I can. I told her she doesn't have to go fast. Like she can literally just paint that the whole time and we're good. So I'm painting this in gray skies and then I'm going to do some two-toning with white linen over the top of that new milk paint color birdie. I wound up painting a lot of stuff after the live last week because we had some paint left over. And the thing about milk paint is you only want to mix up what you're going to use because it doesn't keep. You usually have an open time of a couple of hours um, and then it'll start getting gelatinous. But if it's dry, you can pretty much keep it indefinitely. So just mix up what you're going to use and then you can put the rest back in your cupboard. Let's see if there's any questions about milk paint. So I paid 75 cents for that stool. You think I did good? I don't think anybody's bought it yet, so no pressure, but it also has to look good because I'm going to sell it for $14.95. <laughs> Do you have a DI by where you're at in college in Idaho? Yeah, so that's about one of the only stores we have. Oh. We have DI and Walmart and like DI and dollars, right? I like no it. No Goodwill, which I'm actually not mad about. I don't like it that much anymore. Goodwill has gone way up in price. It has. Does your DI have good junk? Like, should I come up there and junk with you? I don't know. I didn't. I, when I went, I was looking for a Halloween costume. <laughs> you clearly were not looking for junk. I should have been. I should have been scouting some junk. I'm going to let that dry over there. I'm going to get to the next step. No pressure, but I'm already finished with my first coat. <laughs> <laughs> so these are some candlesticks that we thrifted. I'm not sure if they sold. We're selling the set for $22.95. And I think we paid like a couple bucks a piece. I have a few milk paint chunks on here. I didn't mix that milk paint up really good. It's okay, it just adds to the chippy nature. You can wet distress these, although we put bond in it, so I think it would be a little bit difficult to wet distress them. We might try wet distressing that. The longer you let it dry, the harder it is to wet distress. Willow, speak up some. Oh, oh you gotta talk loud. Sorry. Can you hear me, Caitlin? We're not wearing mics today. Because I don't know how to do that. <laughs> and Zeb's gone. I can move the camera closer. Let's try that. I also talk down. Yeah, you gotta talk loud. Gotta you also move. talk what? Uh, <laughs> say it loud, say it proud, Willow. I'm also talking phasing down. I need to work on that. Yeah, this. look at the camera like it's your best friend. I need to work on my camera presence. Yeah, so let, do you want a little lesson on like going live, like some tips and tricks? Go for it. Okay, so we're also gonna teach you guys how to get in front of a camera. So the first thing is you pretend that it's not a camera, like it's just your friend and they're sitting across. And anytime you talk, don't you normally like look people in the eye? Yes. So you look the camera in the eye and you just talk to them. So that way they get a connection with you and then you have to talk loud enough that the camera picks it up. It's really easy. You do it enough and you really think the camera is your friend. You have no need to ever leave the house again because you could just talk to all the people of the Facebook. Of the Facebook. <laughs> all right, we're going to two-tone this, but I don't know which one I want to use. I did not wash this brush very good. It's kind of crunchy. <laughs> that was the first job I ever did for you. Wash paint brushes? Yeah. I've made Gentry paint for me, too. I can't remember what she painted. It was like chairs or something. I should remember. She showed it off real proud. She's like, I painted this. And then she went home and painted something to sell. I don't know that she ever sold it. Did she ever sell um, it vanity? She did a good job. We had a garage sale on Saturday and she sold it there for about five bucks. <gasps> that was the cutest little I vanity. Know. I I need to give you guys some lessons on marketing. Marketing is important. <laughs> Alright, hold on, you're gonna get another paintbrush. Iris Pro Comb Shader. Probably made for fine art, but I'm just gonna two-tone these. So this has this cute little French detail on the bottom. And if you just get a little artist brush, you can paint just the detail. It'll be cute. 
It'll be cute. Problem is when I paint stuff like this, I get kind of quiet. I'll show it to you guys once I get the bulk of it painted. Hey Ivy, where's Zeb? So Zeb has a cousin who just turned 40 and they did a boys night, which actually just consists of Zeb helping him lay flooring in his new house. So that's what he did all night and today and he'll be back to milk the cow. <laughs> they were gonna play video games, but Zeb's like, I'd rather help you with the project. So that's what he's doing. I was like, hey, if you can do Aaron's flooring, can I please get my mudroom flooring put in that we've had for two years? <laughs> so maybe that'll happen. I'll use it as a good excuse. I did make him some bread. I was a good wife. I sent him with bread so he wouldn't starve because Aaron doesn't have any food. He's the bachelor. And his kitchen's all torn up because he's like painting and remodeling before he puts stuff in. So that's where Zeb is. Cheryl says, I have such a hard time with milk paint. So I would say if you have a hard time with milk paint, start with farmhouse finishes first. It will chip and crackle a little bit if you use water to wet distress it, but it won't, it typically won't chip all the way off because it has a built-in bond. So it's like baby steps to milk paint is using farmhouse finishes. Um, it actually originally was made to paint walls because they used milk paint, it was called safe paint. And then Sasha, when she bought um, the milk paint company, she rebranded it and called it farmhouse finishes. But it is easier to mix up and it doesn't, it has like a built-in bond. So start with that if you're scared of milk paint. And that's on sale too. That's part of the 20% off. And I would say just get a few samples of the farmhouse finishes and some cute little thrifted finds. Like, okay, so 20% off. You're not paying very much for the milk paint. Just get, a, get at least get two colors so that way you get free shipping. Um, and then something that's 75 cents at the thrift store. And boom, look at this. You're like amazing. Thanks. You're like, didn't even know. Okay, we'll flip that over. Okay. If you touch it and the paint comes off, just repaint it. That's what I do. Don't, don't worry about messing up the paint. Okay. I did say on the top because this had like a painted design and I didn't want it to come oh, through. I totally didn't. Oh, yeah. I guess it was upside down. So. Yeah, you're good. You're awesome. You just paint the tops of the rungs, the edge and the top, and then we'll let that dry and I'll teach you how to stencil. Have you ever stenciled before? Um, not since elementary school, but with markers, so no. <laughs> well, we're going to teach you. That is like... Aside from milk paint, it's one of the things that people think is scary mm -hmm. is stenciling, and it's not. Last week, um, we had Cooper and Odelia, and they stenciled, and they did a really good job. First time out of the gate. There's just some tricks and tips you gotta know. You gotta use the best stencil brushes in the world, which are Jamie Ray Vintage stencil brushes. <laughs> I have some. And you have to use Jamie Ray Vintage stencils, and then a few other things. But we'll show you how in a bit. And the stencil brushes are on sale too, so don't miss out on that. Today is the very, 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 very last day of the sale. And milk paint maybe goes on sale usually only every like six months. So this will be the last time you can get it for sale this year. And you're probably not looking at a sale till like in the spring, beginning of summer. So if you've been wanting to try milk paint, definitely now is the time. Because then you're going to love it when you keep watching my videos and you have to pay full price. I don't make the rules, man. <laughs> I like Willow because she laughs at all my jokes. <laughs> so Willow, would you say that you're a creative, like you're artsy? Uh, yes. Yes. What do you like to create? I lean more towards musical arts. You do sing. Can you sing us a song? Oh, that's a lot of pressure. Come on. There's only, there's only 127 people watching. It's not even like a lot because they're not used to being live Monday morning. Willow actually sings like an angel. Oh. Have you met any angels? Only you. <laughs> what's your favorite? What's like the easiest song for you to sing? Probably, I don't know, anything by Patsy Cline because I listen to her the Oh, most. you do have that deep, sultry voice. So what? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know Patsy Cline. What, what song do you want to sing for us? Oh, I'm really singing. Yeah, is this part of the I'll take you to Handles. Okay. Well, <laughs> we'll get lunch and an ice cream. She knows how to buy me. All right, let me teach you something real quick, though, before oh, you sing. Okay. So you, you don't need to overwork it. Just brush neatly across the top. Okay. And try not to flick paint on yourself, which I think I just did. Sorry. Okay. And milk paint doesn't come off the way DIY paint does. And then just make sure there's no shirt. drips. So I think you're good. All right. You can let that dry. Okay. And it's okay if there's paint on your fingers. Part of the... <laughs> Part of the journey. It's all natural. It's all natural and food safe. So I can eat it. 
don't eat it. You could eat food and if it got on the food, it wouldn't be the end of the world. That's what that means. It doesn't mean actually eat milk paint. All right, Patsy Klein, sing it. Okay, hold on. I gotta think of what song I would wanna sing. Do we have any, do we have any requests? Yeah, any, yeah, any requests? Let's see. She, they said that you look like me. I knew someone, you know what? I was literally <laughs> like, someone's gonna say, she looks like she could be a kid. It's cause she has dark hair. So yeah. both me and my sister Karen married very, let's just say, Pasty. European, Scandinavian <laughs> men. They're actually cousins. My husband and my sister's husband are like sixth cousins. I'm not really sure. I think like fifth or sixth cousins. And let's just, they're very white. So each of us have five children. Yeah. And each of us, it took five children to yeah. get somebody with yes. brown hair and brown eyes. Because Jack is my only brown hair, brown eyes. And you I are your most about that. That's yeah. funny. So she does have my coloring, but you are totally a Ramsey. You look like a Ramsey. Okay. Walking after midnight, I fall to pieces. I didn't see I fall to pieces. I sang that. Do you need us to look up the words? You know. Come on. I mean, I don't know the whole song. Okay. Maybe. You can just sing like a few lines. You ready? Or do you need some water first? To clear your throat? I mean, maybe. I didn't even feed you breakfast yet. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Hold up. Okay, it's not hot. <laughs> All right, she's gonna clear her throat and I'm just gonna be over here painting because she, I don't sing. I'm gonna start it in time. I gotta, actually, maybe, hold on. I gotta think of the words. I gotta like run through them. Oh, okay, we can look it up. They have the words on mine, I'm sure. Shut up, dog! Sorry, the dogs are barking. Don't bark at the FedEx guy! He's bringing Christmas presents. Here, Here Cody wants to hear you sing. Oh, I'm calling down. Alright. Alright, let's go. Alright. I fall to pieces. Each time I see you again, I fall to pieces. with your rendition of mm -hmm. the anthem. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of views. I haven't sang that in a long time. Yeah. Well, that is one of the trickier songs. Sorry, are you want to keep singing or was that good? I don't care. I feel like you earned ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> no, All I'm right. still upset they got rid of my favorite flavor. You are upset they got rid of your favorite flavor. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, do you want to use the heat gun on that? Sure. Okay, so if you go in that cabinet over there, the heat gun's there and you can plug it in. A little white one? Tina says, good job, keep singing. We all, we all have talents. Singing is not one of mine. Your Uncle Zeb can sing. I don't know if you know that. I actually have heard you talk about that. Where's, yeah. wait, is this one? No. Uh, what does it look like? It's yellow. Oh, yeah. Have you ever used a heat gun before? Um, yes, I have. Okay. Just keep it moving and don't burn the house down. No pressure. They said, sing crazy. Crazy. You know that one? Yeah. Okay. She's going to heat gun this and then maybe she'll get the nerves up to sing crazy for you guys. And I'm just going to paint this. Isn't it you that, like, for, haven't you told me a few times I should start a YouTube? Yeah, you should sing on it. That's a lot of pressure. You could make a lot more money an hour than working at Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it takes a minute to, like, get the following up, just but you have a good voice, so... You could go on TikTok too. Did you know that I have 10,500 followers on TikTok now? I did not. I do. I'm waiting to did get- Did you know that I've liked every single one of your TikToks? I do see that coming through often. I'm about to get monetized. I've submitted for monetization and I'm gonna make 10 bucks a month on TikTok. Nice. I know. 
Renee says she is awesome. Oh no, the link didn't work for the live video. I don't know, maybe th there's something weird out with the text. We've just been live for a little bit. Willow, it's okay. I got her. There's a hair. It's fine. Sure? Yeah, we'll just stress it. <laughs> It'll be fine. As, as your grandpa would say, we're just gonna stress it. See, you know, my dad would always be like, why did you always have to stress everything? I was like, because it fixes it. Yeah, my sister Karen can sing and her dad can sing. My brother-in-law Ryan. Yeah. So that would probably be why you can sing. I have a mixed bag. Odelia actually sings really good. Yes. Um, and I actually heard Cooper can sing a little bit. I've never heard it. He Stop. can. They should, they're I know. So he can play the viola. That's cool. I know. And um, Eliza sings kind of like me. Harrington sings like me. <laughs> and um, uh, Redrick, he could sing maybe. I don't know. I've heard he's pretty shy. Jack sings with enthusiasm. He had a solo in the church primary program just a few weeks ago. I love him. Pretty much every song is a solo with him because he <laughs> sings really loud and he kind of like gets in with the music. Hey Yvette, thank you for watching. First timer from California. Woot woot. I'm going to attempt to upload this later to YouTube, but I actually don't know how to do that. It's, you know, when Zeb leaves, I realize how much I don't know how to do. <laughs> Things I should learn. All right, I'll show you this up close. I think we should second coat that top so that the, the design doesn't come through. What do you think? So here it is. This is the first coat. I'll let it dry. I'll touch it up and distress it, but it's coming along nicely. I'm gonna do this one next. I feel like this will be easier. Gentry's watching now, so now you have to sing. Oh, Does it, isn't Gentry at work Monday morning? She's at Ryan's. She's at Ryan's. She's also work. Maybe, yeah, true. With my great niece and nephew. Nephews, I guess. Yes. How many kids does Ryan have home during the day? Uh, during that, so... Just... The, there's a lot. Okay. Willow's oldest sister has how many children? Seven? Eight children. Eight children. Eight children. I think only the three. Three babies. So it's... She had six right yes. and then they were going to adopt a little girl which they did and while they were in the middle of adopting a little girl she got pregnant with number or eight she had five so she had five so they have seven yeah because rush so she just oh because she just had yeah. never mind they do have eight so they had five they're like let's adopt a little girl she got pregnant with another little boy oh don't put that is that gonna oh, that's fine as long as it's not touching the fabric um she got pregnant with a little boy so it's like yeah, second coat at the top. Um, and then she got pregnant with one more boy. So my niece has seven boys yeah. and one daughter. So thank goodness they adopted that little girl because uh, I don't think it was in the cards for her otherwise. <laughs> and my niece is, it's her oldest sister and she's just, I think, a couple years younger than me. She's about, there's about 30, a 20 year age gap. So 39? she's 38, 39. I think she'll turn 39 in February, actually. Yeah, I think so. That's her birthday, so February. All right, so I'm just two-toning this frame. The thing with when you're wanting to two-tone is easy does it. Go nice and slow, don't stress yourself out, use a little brush, and then it's a lot easier. Especially if it's like a raised detail, that makes it really easy. And if you screw up, you can always just distress it. <laughs> so have you thought about how many kids you wanna have? Oh, we got some stars, um, Woot. Thank you for the stars, Myra. Minimum three. Minimum three. Maximum probably like five. Five's a really great odd number. It is. All except for I my like sister. Five. I kind of like the because you have a kid perfectly in the middle. Yes, you have a, an exact middle child minus Eliza. She's definitely not deprived though. She's a spoiled middle child. <laughs> I thought I wanted to have twelve, and then I oh. had Harrington, and I decided if I have a girl after Harrington, I'm just gonna have two because he was a lot. He was a very busy child. And then I had Odelia, and she has just always been super easy. So I had Eliza, and then Eliza was super easy. So I was like, let's just have one more. And I had Redrick, and I thought we were done at four. And then one day, I was going to the OB, and I texted Zeb, and I said, 
what do you think about having another baby? And he's like, well, you're an excellent mom. So I had my I IUD. I had my that. IUD taken out that day. And six weeks later, I was pregnant with Jack. So that's how I got five kids. And thank goodness I had Jack because it took the five to get one with brown hair and brown eyes. And he's funny. <laughs> Jack cracks me up. Just a second layer on the top, right? What? Just a second layer on the top, right? Yeah, just on the top. The rest looks pretty good. And then I'll teach you how to stem score. If you're new here, um, I'm not a hoarder. If you ever watch my short videos and we're at the thrift store, we have a retail store here in Lehigh called JB Ray Vintage. And we have thrifted, upcycled, antiques, and new items. And then we have a website, which is jamierayvintage.com. And we sell all of our items on jamierayvintage.com. And then we also sell the patent products. So we have some people that follow us because they want to buy our stuff. And then we have some people that follow us because they want to get ideas and then they buy paint from us. So it's a win-win. And some people just want to learn how to paint, which is also fine. Or they just want to watch it and see if I mess up. Also an option. What do you think, Will? Would you like it better with the white? Yeah, I think it's nice. Carolyn says, love watching your thrift haul videos. So inspiring. Keep up the good work. Should we go thrifting today? We could. Do you want to go thrifting? Grandma wants to go to Costco, but that's not going to take that long. I love Costco, too. I don't go that often, but. Is that, is that normal? Yeah, so why don't you show it to them up close mm -hmm. and they can see the crackle because um, the heat gun is why it crackled, but sometimes milk paint will crackle on its own too. Mm -hmm. So true. if you do the farmhouse finishes and you want it to crackle, just use a heat gun. And then I'm gonna show you how to wet distress a little bit. Can I see that? Um, is this the metal frame? This oh, is actually a resin frame that we had from our haul on Saturday. And I wound up painting it with Birdie after the camera went off just because I needed to use it up. And Willow is painting that cute little stool from the hall. And she actually painted it with the color Willow. So she used milk paint for the first time. And it wasn't that hard, right? No. I always say start small. And then once you get confident on painting smaller items, then paint furniture. I always love it when I get a message from somebody and they tell me, so I'm painting a family heirloom. I've never painted anything before and I want to use milk paint. Do you have any tips? And I'm like, first tip, don't start paint. with something small. <laughs> don't, don't paint your family heirloom or even any big project because I feel like you're setting yourself up to get discouraged because even if you do it well, it, it will take you a while the first time you paint and then you might give up and have a half finished project. But if you have like a little picture frame like this, you're probably going to get it finished. Do you have any questions? I don't know how to get rid of that. I don't either. Um, oh, do you have any cups? The, the only want to see t-shirts. Do I sell any cups? I don't, I have like mugs. Oh, I have like copper mugs. The one that Willow is drinking out of. We have those on the website and then we have thrifted mugs, but I don't have any cups like that say, I love, you want a cup that says I love junk. Cause we could, we could maybe uh, design that and get that up on the website. Thank you, Gail. She likes your name. I like your name too. Named after a creek. I thought you were named after the little guy from Willow, the movie. Your mom That's was mad at me. Funny. But it's kind of like when people call Odelia Odie, like the dog from Garfield. Did I tell you? Okay, so I have, have I shown you my baby names list? Your baby names list. No, what's on your baby names list? Well, a lot. It's extensive. I, so, you, so you may have to have those five children to use yeah, up some of those. I, I, everyone's like, you're not going to have that many kids. I'm like, yes, I'm not. But like, now my husband has a pretty good list to pick from because unless he comes up with something just outstanding, he's not picking. <laughs> what you do is you wait till you're in labor and you say, can I pick the name? And what are they going to say? Yeah, they got to say yes. <laughs> um, but one of the names on there is Odette. Odette. For Odelia. I like it. And Odie would be the nickname. <laughs> well, Garfield's kind of an old school cartoon. So by the time you have this kid and you name them Odette, if they call her Odie, yeah. um, they probably won't know. I've actually never told Odelia that, but she's the inspiration. Oh, oh. and of course Odelia. That's like where her name's from. Yeah, Willie Odelia. Yeah. My mom's sister. Well, she's like the fourth Odelia that I know of in our family, <laughs> but they're all either passed away or uh, my Aunt Willie's 80. It's not super common for. Oh, they want to hear a song because she's new. Um, let's see. Where did you get the copper paint on your stove? Um, 
the copper pan. Oh, sorry, I actually thrifted that. We don't have any copper pans on the website right now. I sold all the ones that we bought in France. And the only copper that we have is, I do have a copper um, Victorian water heater bottle thing, but everything else copper, all my pans, all my bowls sold. Um, yeah, sorry, the picture is reversed. I don't know how to fix that. Huh? So, oh, cause we're on Facebook, so it flops it. I might be able to fix it, hold on. Hopefully I don't mess up the whole thing. There we go. Is that better? Am I on the right side? The people that watch us regularly, it really throws them off when I'm backwards. Crazy is a good song. All right, why don't you sing crazy while I finish this up and then I'll teach you how to stencil. Okay. Do you know the words? Yeah, I should. I should. Okay. Most of them. Okay. Crazy for thinking that my love could hold you. And I'm crazy, crazy for feeling so blue. I knew you'd love me as long as you wanted. And then someday you'd leave me for somebody new. I get chills every time you sing. Like, I know you can sing, but then you sing, and I'm like, oh my gosh, she's amazing. I mean, that's acapella on the fly, and I haven't even fed you breakfast. <laughs> you, need to have, breakfast. you need to have a YouTube channel, because uh, I'm telling you, you would do awesome. I was actually, I was thinking the other day, I th it was in the car ride, the 14-hour car ride from <laughs> it Arizona. Is, it is a long way from Arizona to Idaho. And... I was like, what if I started a channel and it wasn't just singing, I also did like a little talking segment where I do dove into why I, why I picked the song to sing, why I like the song, stuff behind the lyrics, and kind of like digested the song itself. Yeah. And then I thought that would be cool. That I, would be good. Because there's so many singing YouTubes. Well, right now what's super popular is shorts. Yeah. So like... If you could do like go fun places and just start like randomly singing and film people's reactions, oh. that would be so because nobody's gonna expect it. Because she's tiny, like this big. Nobody's <laughs> gonna expect it. This loud, deep, sultry voice is coming out of this little girl, and it would be so good. I'd watch it, I'd share it, I'd tag you and stuff. Willow is actually the only uh, short video that I've ever had go viral on Facebook. Willow is laughing at her Uncle Zeb in that video. Yeah. So I sent it to her. I'm like, look, you're viral on Facebook. Let's see. Everybody just says beautiful, 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 beautiful. Thank you. You should go on American Idol. I tried the voice. And what happened? I just, I, I think that the, those shows are a little... Uh, Rigged? And discouraging. Because it's, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to be outstanding you just have to get picked you know? yeah and so out of all those people the chances of you getting it's like a it's like a lottery like it's like, yeah it's or it's like a giveaway that you enter and you're always you know I'm, it's I'm discouraging that person. i'm always like i never win anything and so i i, I decided to just maybe not put yourself out there yeah i feel I'd rather it. do it myself if i was gonna do it at all did you know that your uncle zeb and i were actually in talks with a network for a tv show I did. Yeah. Yeah. I and did. same thing like that. I not to like say, oh, I'm so cool, but we probably had like four or five producers contact us. Mm -hmm. This was the furthest we'd ever gotten because we were under contract with a production company and they were pitching it to like Magnolia and HGTV. And I just I try not to get my hopes up, but I'm like, how cool would that be to like have somebody else yeah. film us? It is a lot of work to like edit your yeah. own videos and just put yourself out there. So it'd just be nice to have somebody else do that. And then it didn't turn out and I was disappointed and I'm like, I feel like I'm talented. You know, I'm a little, I'm a little fluffy, right? I'm not like skinny, but I feel like I'm talented, right? So why couldn't they put me on TV? So it's all right though, because I have all these cool people on Facebook and YouTube that watch me and they're my friends. You're more exciting than half of the people on the shows. <laughs> Maybe I'm just say. too much of a wild card. And that's not know. like a bias, because you know I don't lie. That is true. Willow, 
Willow is any if she's anything, she is truthful about <laughs> stuff. I don't know. Part of me, I want to start doing. I love the DIY, and I'm never going to stop that. But I want to start doing like a homestead channel. Mm -hmm. Karen says you are beautiful and natural. That's Karen. Karen's on here, and that's my sister. Is your mom working today? Or is she Thanks. off? Someone called me wise. They called you wise. Yeah. Willow is wise. Actually, I had my world of legend Caesar. <laughs> My roommates are also in that class and they thought, they were like, can you just shut up about it? But I can't, because I, I was so excited. He, I just made a comment and he was like, wow, that was, that was actually, that was pretty profound. And then the next, that same week, the next time we were in class, I said something else and he said the same thing and I was like riding my little high horse for a while. You're like, look at me, I'm profound. Pretty profound. I'm Willow making profound comments. <laughs> I like that. I always feel like when somebody says that some like a compliment about me, it always makes me feel better. I feel like there's a lot of people that want to tell you otherwise. So it's nice to hear something nice about yourself. Yeah. All right, are you ready to stencil? Yes. Okay. So I'm just painting white linen on stuff. It's not that exciting. All right, she's gonna stencil. She's not stenciled since she was in elementary school. <laughs> um, so the trick is gonna be we don't want to get like this other stuff so yeah. you're gonna have to stay inside and mm -hmm. you're gonna have to hold this while you stencil yeah. anything you need to do that can you make sure it's centered yeah let's okay. terry said i would enjoy a homestead type facebook as well well we're trying to just find the time to make the videos but i think we're just gonna have to fight the bullet and do it and if we do homestead videos We'll probably start, we're going to put it on a, we have a separate channel that we haven't done much with on YouTube, so we'll put it there, but on Facebook, we'll just use Jamie Ray Vintage, because Facebook doesn't seem to punish you for uh, posting content that's different from your normal stuff, where YouTube likes you to always do the same stuff, I don't know why. All right, so I have gray skies on the JRV half inch brush, and the trick is you want it to be mostly dry, like you don't want it to be dripping with paint. Mm -hmm. I'll do the head, just to show you. And you just hold this down, and then you're just going to swirl, and that's it. So, you do this, start with the tail. I'll hold this, so that way you can just focus on swirling. There you go, perfect. Now you can keep going. Got plenty of paint on there. If you start to run out of paint, I'll dip it for you. If you find when you're stenciling that you're getting paint under the edge, just have less paint on your brush. That's like the biggest tip and trick I can tell you. And you can pounce if you want to, but swirling is easier. I think you need more paint. Mm -hmm. All right. And it's better to have to do multiple coats than it is to have too much paint on your brush. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit more paint. Zeb is actually way better at stenciling live than me. I actually don't like stenciling live. It stresses me out. <laughs> so that's why I'm making you do it. Because you're my lovely assistant today. All right, hold on, I think it's pulling it off not quite dry yet so we're just gonna I'm just gonna pounce it on for the swirling did we get all the areas yeah oh we missed it right there all right you ready what <laughs> like a boss <laughs> <laughs> all right heat gun that then we'll stress that and i'll show you how to seal it Yeah, I'm actually glad that we didn't wind up getting the TV show because in all honesty, it takes up a lot of time and you don't make enough money until like your second season and they try to tell you what to do and that's never a good thing for me. I don't like, I will not be bossed around. Where is Zeb? Zeb is on a guy's night. He went overnight to his cousin's house a few hours away. He left yesterday after he milked the cow. He went straight down to um, Richfield. And he's gonna, his cousin turned 40 today. I think today's his birthday. Actually, maybe it's tomorrow. I can't remember. 28th, 29th, I can never remember. But um, then he'll be back today to milk a cow. So I'm live because we have to do a video on Monday and I don't know how to edit videos. All right, is that dry? I think so. Okay, um, so there's a couple things. We can wet distress it, but then it might smear this so i'm thinking we're going to wet distress the base and around the edge and then we'll use sandpaper on that that sound good yes okay so with wet distressing the paint until it's sealed is water soluble which means it can come off with water till you seal it 
So you just kind of go along the edge and you see how it's taking the paint off? Mm -hmm. So you can just do that all along the edge and bring back that butter yellow color and then we'll show them what it looks like when it's done. And then I think we're gonna seal it with a new top coat. We'll let that dry and then maybe we'll do some dark wax to bring out all those crackles. Do you think this stool is gonna sell now? I, I now that it's been willowed. <laughs> it doesn't take a lot of paint to paint little thrifted stuff too. So that's the other reason, reason I think it's really great to start with it because it's not a huge investment for time or product. Leslie says that it's pretty. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, Karen says she's recovering from working last week and hosting a 30 people Thanksgiving. What's your favorite thing that your mom makes for Thanksgiving? Um, well, that's hard because technically the, tur the turkey she does all the seasoning and all that and then my dad fries it. So I guess that's a team effort and of course I love that because it's deep fried turkey. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't love a deep fried turkey? That is true. Um, doesn't she make a cracker pie? I don't, I don't like crackers. Shh. All right. Unpopular opinion. I Unpopular like opinion. Willow does not like cracker pie. She makes good rolls, but we did, she made frozen rolls this year. Oh, uh, that happens. <laughs> you know what? I need to give Gentry, or, yeah, Gentry. So Gentry is Willow's older sister by what? Four years? Five years? Five. I need to give her my recipe for Kamut rolls that you can make in an hour. Cause they're really, really, really simple mm -hmm. and yummy. And I love to make them on Thanksgiving because they don't take too long. And your take everything else takes so long, you know, like it's a lot of cooking. So you gotta have it simple. We're having turkey noodle soup for dinner. It's in the, it's in the oh, yeah, I, saw, I saw your story. You saw my story? <laughs> I was like, sounds good to me. I asked Jack, I said, oh, Gentry's on, she needs that recipe. I will get it to you, Jen. Actually, Gentry, um, if you go to jamierayvintage.com, my Kamut bread recipe is on there, and all you have to do is just pinch it for rolls, and you have rolls. So if you look that up, or Caitlin, can you link the blog post you did on my bread recipe? I am working on perfecting my uh, no need crusty bread with Kamut, and then I will blog that recipe next. I asked um, Jack this morning, I said, do you want to have turkey noodle soup or do you want to have pinto beans and ham? Because we're, we're clearly eating up Thanksgiving leftovers over here. <laughs> and he chose turkey noodle soup. Good choice. That's what we're having. So I, we might make kamut noodles later today. I've never done it before, but it, it can't be that hard. <laughs> I mean, I have made noodles. I've just not made kamut noodles. And I made raviolis and stuff. So I have made pasta from scratch. Back in the day, I was broke as a joke and I did daycare at home. And so I would paint furniture like while the kids were playing and then while they were napping, I would bake and I made everything from scratch. It was like a really good creative outlet. And then life got busy and I didn't cook as much. And life is still busy, but less busy than it used to be back in the day. So I've had more time to cook and it's been fun. All right, that's doing good. I gotta make sure, will the recipe come here? Um, yes, Terry, Caitlin just dropped the link to my bread recipe. Um, I am looking to amend that because I use soy lecithin in it, which times? some people don't eat soy. So I will try. I'm trying to find a different fat that I like. I'm probably going to amend it and use like avocado oil. Ooh. Um, I love avocado oil. You love avocado oil. You're doing a really good job. You want to show them that up close, show them all the distress. Distress the little edge there and then we'll um, sand the top. I wasn't even like guiding you. You're just um, going. hoping and praying that it was good. Where do you were hoping and praying? Where do I get my kamut flour? I buy it from the food nanny. She, if you follow her on Instagram, she's kind of a big deal on the gram, um, and she has a store in Salt Lake, but she ships as well. And it's like a small woman-owned business, so that's always good. And I'm gonna go. I need to actually go and see if I can get some uh, kamut berries, like the wheat berries, because I just ordered a wheat grinder. I don't want to grind my own. I ha got a Black Friday sale. That was always my job as a kid. To I grind the wheat. I would sit there for probably like an hour, a couple hours, just grind it. Cause, cause you kind of sometimes you have to regrind it. Like, cause my mom's was old. Yeah, she has my mom's old one mm -hmm. that my mom paid five hundred dollars for. I only paid two hundred and seventy dollars for mine. And but things you things like technology type stuff back in the day, like microwaves. Grandma's first microwave in the seventies cost five hundred dollars. You know why Grandpa bought it? 
because some guy came, like a door to door salesman oh, yeah. came, and he heated up refried beans. I remember this. And he was so impressed with these refried beans that he bought a five hundred dollar oh, vacuum. He also bought a Kirby vacuum when they didn't even have carpet from a door to door salesman. <laughs> they used it for like a rug that they had. <laughs> Am I live on that YouTube too? No, I'm not. On you, when we go live on YouTube as well, we have to use StreamYard and I don't know how to do that and Zeb's not here. But I'm going to attempt to upload this to YouTube later. Um, so attempt is a keyword there because I don't know how. I I'm fully believe you can Google just about anything. But yeah, when we go live on YouTube and Facebook at the same time, we have to use our laptop, the big camera, and a bunch of cords and the mics. And I was like, uh, I don't know. I already had to feed the cow this morning without Zeb and <laughs> Go collect the eggs. I don't know that I want to push that. <clears throat> Amelia, Amelia says, I still use Fuller Brush Carpet Sweeper and Brew. What is a Fuller Brush Sweeper? Do I need to have one of those? Because I'm always, Deb says I'm a sucker for floor gadgets. I've tried just about everything. What we've finally committed to is white floors are really hard. And so we're probably going to lay new wood flooring over the top of these because we don't have a subfloor. But we gotta wait till we can afford to buy the flooring. It's not that expensive because we use seconds. So it's it's got I think it's like two dollars a foot now. But I love the hardwood floors. They were a pain. It took me four weeks to install all the floors in the addition, but I love not having carpet. What do you think, Willa? You like these? Yeah. Yours is better than mine. Is it really I, is this I feel like I like almost distressed too much. No, no, no. It's perfect. Okay, let's get sandpaper. We'll distress the top and we'll get the ceiling here. Do you want, will you quickly take your brush that you milk painted with and get yes. all the milk paint out of it? All right, I'm going to get sandpaper. The question remains, where is the sandpaper? All right, I'll just sand it for you since you're washing the brush. So this has a built-in sealer. The horse I used, Gray Skies, is not going to smear, which is nice. But I just want to bring out some of the color underneath. So this is Willow, which is a farmhouse finishes and a Sweet Pickens Milk paint color from our website. And Gray Skies, and we just used one of our horse grain sack stencils. Gentry's and Willow's family, I almost called you Gentry. Willow's family has horses, so I thought that'd be cute. And then here's where she wet distressed on the bottom. And I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like crackle in here. And we're gonna seal this all up with the matte top coat and then probably use dark glass to bring out that crackle. So this is the new Sweet Pickens top coat. I've only used it a few times. People ask me how I like it. I put it on my coffee table and the coffee table like has held up really, really well. And it's a super durable finish. It is not all natural, so it does have a little bit of a smell. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna dry this off. Hopefully got all the paint out because this is an antique French towel. It's monogram. <laughs> Let's get you something to put that in. I thought I did, please. You're like, I thought I did a good job. No pressure. Okay. Um, I would sweat. Let's try. Okay, so let's start with, I always flip it over and do the bottom first. Now, if there was paint on there, you wouldn't want to do that. It's not a big mess. All right, you can seal that up. <laughs> So ads do come on the lives because Facebook pays me like pennies on the dollar for them and I don't pick them because Renee says that uh, there's an ad popping up for a Tara, but she was able to close it. What did, what did Gentry say? I might go thrifting today. I have to start getting things for my wedding. So is this a public oh, announcement? Yeah. Oh yeah. I forgot to tell you it's not a secret. Oh. I forgot to mention that. But... <laughs> No, was it a secret? She, My kids are gonna be so excited. She so, asked me today, "What's all the what's the tea on Gentry?" I heard, you know, there's a wedding, and I just kind of like was talking to, talking to her, and totally forgot to let you know. Like, this is not a secret. Yes. My niece Gentry is engaged. Fun fact: Gentry was my flower girl. Well, twenty one years ago. He's, what? He hasn't proposed yet. Oh, she's pre-engaged. Yes. They have a ring. Yes. That's so weird. <laughs> the pre-engagement. I mean, I guess I knew I was gonna marry Zeb before I actually did. You guys were, well, you guys were, were dating in high school, right? Yeah, we dated for like over two years before we got married. We, it wasn't, we could, I mean, we loved each other enough to get married in high school, but 
I don't think my mom would have approved. <laughs> Your Uncle Zeb actually told me we've been dating. We started dating like we're in a couple in October. In November, we became an item. In December, he told me he wanted me to marry him. His exact words were actually, his exact words were, I want these hands to hold my children, which meant he wanted me to marry him because he's a proper man. He didn't want to have kids out of wedlock. <laughs> and I started crying because I felt the same way. And then I was like, and we can't tell anybody because we're, I'm 17. <laughs> and the rest is history. We've been, the, we have been a couple for 23 years. I actually don't remember much of my life without him. The funny thing is we spend so much time together, it's very like jarring for him to be away. Yeah. Like it's like I don't know what to do with myself. Last night I watched Martha Stewart and I learned <laughs> she has a new show on the Roku. It's very good if you guys haven't watched it. And I learned how to make eggs and a few other things. Oh, and she made popovers, which I've never made, but now I want to get a popover part, like part, a, a popover pan. pan. They're kind of like Yorkshire pudding. Have you ever had that? I have not. Okay. So it's like a really fluffy bread product made out of eggs. It's good. Oh, I know. Okay, okay. There's this It's thing. almost like German pancakes. Is it like that? It's actually a TikTok trend, but is it like that cloud bread stuff? Um, it's no, like it has flour in it. It's oh. not keto. That stuff I, looks... You can finished. make them in muffin tins, but popover tins make them taller. And so I thought I would try them in muffin tins first. And if I made them half a dozen times, then I could justify buying a popover tin because I have a habit of buying things I don't need. <laughs> I, I like to bake. I actually made waffle cones for a while. Had a waffle cone maker. I mean, who needs a waffle cone maker? I don't know. I have a bunch of gadgets and I have to be careful because otherwise I have too many. But then I was watching her make pasta and they make this thing, it's called a pasta extruder. You just put the ingredients in there and it, the pasta comes out. I know, it's a thousand dollars. So I don't think <laughs> your Uncle Zeb's gonna spring for it. But <laughs> I also watched Martha do that. But they also have these things, that you, they're called egg cobblers and you can like boil eggs in these little things and they're really cute. I liked that. And I learned how to make a poached egg. Anyways, there you go. <clears throat> I'm just saying to do. Mary says me and my husband knew each other one month and a day and got married 42 years ago. I feel like if you don't know in the first like six months that you want to marry somebody, it's usually out of convenience. Doesn't mean you have to get married in six months. It just usually you know, right? Like Valenda got married her last year of high school and she's been married 41 years. My mom was 15 when her and my dad got married, but she likes to tell everybody she was almost 16. That's what I got, almost say about her and my dad. I was, what was she? She, she was, was the oldest sister. She was almost 21, I think. She was, I think, no, she was barely 20. Oh, she was barely 20. Well, still, she was the oldest. Really? The rest of us, yes. So my sister Renee, um, the first time she got married, she was 16. So she's younger, not as young as my mom. And then I got married at 18. I think your Aunt Deborah was 18 or 19, but your mom was almost 20, and she was the oldest of us to get married. So we all got married pretty young. I remember my dad being like, I Didn't wish she would get the, married so young. Didn't and she marry the oldest guy too? Ryan? Yeah. Yeah, there's the biggest age the biggest gap. Age gap yeah. yeah, between I mean, your of dad. He's the and oldest her. guy. So. Yeah. I mean, Daryl's the oldest. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, that's right. Daryl's older, but not by much. Is it weird in my head that my mom's the oldest sibling? What do you mean? She's not the oldest sibling. No, I know, but in my head, for whatever reason, I'm just like. No, Aunt Deborah's the oldest, then Renee. But funny story, so I don't know if you've heard this, but your Uncle Zeb asked to marry me. I mean, we'd already discussed it and we're getting married, but he thought it'd be good to ask my dad. So he asked for my dad's hand in marriage. And my dad said, no. <laughs> he said, I think you're too young, but I'm sure you'll get married anyways. And Zeb said, yep. And then we did. And then when we were building this house, my dad was over here helping us work on it. And Zeb was showing him their like guest suite that we were building for them, like their their, I don't know, whatever their bedroom, whatever you want to call it. And he said, you know, here's the bathroom, here's your walk-in closet, here's your bedroom. And my dad said, all this is for us? He goes, remember when I told you not to marry Jamie? And Zeb goes, yeah. He goes, I think it's working out for me. <laughs> <laughs> and Zeb never told me that until after my dad passed away. And of course it made me tear up a little bit, but it also made me laugh. I didn't know my dad had told him no. That's so funny. <laughs> Wait, you didn't know he told him no till? 
After Grandpa passed? Yeah, he didn't tell me that story. Zeb <laughs> never told me that my dad said he couldn't marry That's me. So or maybe he was worried it would influence my decision. It wouldn't have, but... My dad told your dad not to bring your mom. Said back. don't bring her back. Don't dad, bring her back. We don't that. take returns. I have heard that a few times. We don't take returns. But I we did actually live with my parents twice in our married life. So I guess they do take returns. It's just gotta be both. <laughs> it was the both of us. That's right. Alright, just see if there's any questions about painting if you're just tuning in willow is sealing with a new final finishes matte top coat um and she used the color willow in farmhouse finishes which is a milk paint and is part of the 20 percent off sale so the the top coat is not on sale the final finishes but the milk paint is and bond and you can buy sweet pickens or um farmhouse finishes it's 20 percent off and it ends november 28th which is today at mid 11:59 and no code is needed. Okay. So I'm just saying that in case you're just tuning in. And then all of our paint brushes are also 20% um, off. So, and if you want any of these items that we're going to be painting, they are for sale on the okay. website as well Before at JanuaryVintage.com. Nope, once you get it all coated, okay. then you flip it, okay. get the top rungs, and then do the top, and then we'll let it dry, I think, a little bit before we use a heat gun. Because top coat can bubble if you use a heat gun. Uh. But I want to teach you how to use dark wax, which is also something that people are afraid of. <laughs> and you will have conquered three painting fears in one video. Milk paint, stenciling, and dark wax. I like to make it, you know, if you can do that, you can do any. Caitlin's chiming in. Caitlin decided to get married after four days of dating and got married three months later. And now they've been married nine years. Oh, uh, Gentry wants you to sing another song, Willow. She can't. She can't. She already sang two songs. I'm Jen. pretty focused on this painting. She's pretty focused on what she's doing. She thought she wanted to be a singer, but I think she might want to be a junk flipper now. <laughs> I might have swayed her decision in life. Like, what are you going to do with your life, Willow? I'm going to paint junk, just like my Aunt Jamie. You know, none of my kids want to take over the business. I think Jack might want to if he gets older. Odelia says no, but I think that secretly she wants to because she loves to thrift. And so does Cooper. So, I mean, if that works out for him, it could be a thing. <laughs> oh, Gentry says, always remember us this way by Lady Gaga. Oh my gosh, Jan. <laughs> She's putting in. Is she not your best friend? I mean, most days. Most days. Gentry and Willow are funny because when they were younger, I didn't know if Willow was going to survive. Gentry was, the, <laughs> Gentry was the baby for many years, and then Willow came in with these brown eyes and brown hair, which is a novelty in my family, as we just previously discussed. Both my sister and I only have one child with brown hair and brown eyes, and so it took a few years for them to figure it out, like knock down, drag out fist fights. <laughs> No, those didn't stop after. Well, those okay. didn't stop. <laughs> Most of them stopped. We did, and Gentry, don't kill me, but they, like probably within the last six months, we did get into a pretty knockdown fist <laughs> in the parking lot. That's and funny. I mean, Will, hopefully Gentry, that's the last one we ever have. Gentry could have gotten arrested. She's she's an adult. I guess you're an adult, too. I'm so an I adult, guess, yeah. I guess, I guess you're both adults, so you can fight all you want. But they're also best friends, so I guess that's just how that works. I am her maid of honor. <laughs> So I would say that's a best friend situation. I have to tell you right now, Odelia and Eliza never gone in a physical altercation. <laughs> Harrington used to be kind of rough on them, but again, no fighting. Maybe the two little boys, but not anything crazy. Maybe as they get older, they will. I remember Harrington once almost accidentally suffocated me in the snow. <laughs> it was my first time ever seeing snow, too. I think and that he, was like, more he was just playing with you. Yeah. No, it was an accident, but it, he like... But it was a little rough. And I was like, <laughs> it's like, I'm done. I'm done playing. It's not fun. That, that's... That. <laughs> Harrington, uh, he just, he's been wired differently. He's better now than he used to be. But yeah. man, when that kid was little, I was like, I don't Thinking know. Thinking back, it's honestly kind of funny. <laughs> it's not funny. It's a little funny. Because it was my first time seeing snow, too. It was like, well, he really wanted you to see it. <laughs> Maybe my two little boys will fight. That's what I meant by that comment. I don't know. They don't really now. Like, they argue, and occasionally one of them smacks the other one. But, like, fist fight, that's not happening. Although, Jack, did you hear about how Redrick got stitches? 
so Jack weird. was harassing oh, yeah. Redrick through yeah. the window I was in there. the playroom. He had um when 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 I when I oh when you came me. okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, and Redrick and Jack was banging on the window, and then Redrick banged on the will window a little too hard and punched right through the window. So, one the similar thing happened with me and Taylor, my older sister. I was, you know, making faces through the window, and she just was like, "Stop!" Smack the window, and her hand didn't go through, but it, it that the window's still shattered. I won't even lie; I never fixed it. But well, it's, it was probably a tempered glass, as opposed to this was antique and not yeah. tempered, and he could have died. Because he was very close to a, he was very close to a, a bang, but yeah. he didn't. And my mom was the only one here, and she was very calm. She called Deb. She's like, I think Redrick's gonna need a few stitches. <laughs> yeah, he did. We were at the shop. Luckily, that's not too far from here. Okay. I, Gentry says she knows I love that one. I do know she, you love that one. But no pressure. She already earned her handles, Dan. Yeah, I already earned my handles. All right, do you want to just lightly heat gun the top of it so that it's all the way dry? And then I'll show you how you use dark wax. The window still has duct tape on it, Gentry says. It's yeah, as it a does. memento to never do it again. Yeah. Our house has a few little scars. Hey, it happens. Jack, my countertop has scars. We didn't know which kid it was doing it. And there's like cuts all in my butcher block. And Zeb finally got the truth out of him. I think because he's baptized now, he feels like he has to be more honest. I don't know. Because <laughs> we've been asking the kids for years. And it's Jack. Jack's the name. We knew it was Jack or Redrick. Because Odelia and Eliza is just not a thing. <laughs> like, that's not their MO. And eventually I'd like marble countertops. But I'm like, listen, if you put cuts in my marble countertop, it's not going to happen. You also broke the shower door, Willow. I was going to actually bring that up. In my defense, Jack broke the shower. I was going too, through it that too. day. I was having a hard time, and I was we were. I always got really anxious as a kid if we were going somewhere and it was like impromptu, like I didn't have what I deemed enough time to get ready <laughs> to mentally process. I was like, and so because I also had for whatever reason I had really I had really bad anxiety. Like I couldn't go anywhere unless I like fresh showered, and even if I had already showered that day. Wow. So I was like. I, I have to shower before we go. And so I'm, and so finally my mom was like, fine, just, just shower here. Just be quick. And so I'm in there and I'm just like bawling. I'm like, like when you're almost going to throw up. Like, oh yeah. I was like, ah, hysterical. trying to wash my hair. Hysterical. Like, ah. And Jerk then away. I have them like yelling at me. Hurry up. We're, we're going to, and I'm like, I can't. They're so open. And I, so I sit down in the shower and I just got so angry. That I, I kicked my leg through the shower. That could have been bad. I'm really. Did you get stitches or did no, it was okay? I, it was fine for whatever reason. It did nothing happen to me. I, I, t I was hashtag blessed because something, <laughs> something <laughs> should have like cut me because it was that thick shower door. Like it's not. Yeah. Well, Jack broke it, but he just slammed it shut accidentally and it broke. <laughs> and then he also broke the mudroom door. But luckily we already had glass because that was not tempered. Yeah. So we already had glass for that. I'm just gonna grab dark wax. And Will and I are going to dark wax that. So the trick with waxing, with dark waxing, is you always want a barrier between the paint and the wax. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it's too hard to control. And that's why you sealed that first. You could have used clear wax first or whatever, but. I'm going to show you like right here and then I'll let you do it. <laughs> your Gentry said that one of you guys took a knife to your mom's cabinet and honestly it could have been her. Yeah. <laughs> um, that makes sense. I, 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 I can't lie. I used to do the, the thing that you're saying Jack did to the counters. Of right, you maybe did. I forgot that that's still wet on the bottom. Okay. So I'm just doing a little bit at a time and then wiping back. Get it down in the cracks. Wipe it back. See that? Mm -hmm. All right, you do the top. So this is just DIY dark wax. So do I just do I do the whole? Yeah, just do the whole right. thing. And we'll wipe it back. All right. <laughs> Leslie, that heart after your name just means you're like a top commenter on Facebook. I think. Do I do the whole thing first yeah, and just, then wipe, just it wipe it back? Yep. Oh, okay. But you want to get a little bit more. Oh. Diff get in there. All right, now do the whole top. Just do the whole thing. Let's, let's do this. Do you need any more? Yeah, you're gonna need more. Get it, get it, Ginger. Get it, get it, get it. 
The thing about dark waxing is it is going to muddy up the color a little bit, but if you have a barrier between the base color and the wax, which is what that top coat was, it gives you a little bit more control. And if you get too much on and you're like, I don't like this, you can also use clear wax, almost like an eraser. Did you notice that you just called me Gentry? Sorry, Willow. <laughs> That's her sister. I mess up my kid's name too, so. All right, now I'm just gonna wipe it back. I'm gonna see if I can find some clear wax so I can show you what I mean. too much dark wax on there and you don't like it you can just clear wax it and then that'll pull some off okay another thing you can do too did good is you can come back and sand it a little more and just bring out that base coat and now you've got some of that green coming through you want me to show them to them up close too all right so now you can really see all the crackle that you couldn't really see before you guys see that? You guys see the crackle? It's good. So we'll let this dry. We'll dark wax the whole thing and we'll get it uploaded on the website with an updated picture. And I think we've been on an hour. So if you guys want to buy milk paint before the sale is over, it ends tonight um, at 11.59. No code needed. JamieRayVintage.com. The colors that we have on this video is Birdie, is the, the blue green color here. And then Willow used Willow. All right, guys, thanks for joining us, and we will see you for Waste Not Wednesday. Bye, right, guys. Oh, I got to press end. <laughs> That's usually Zeb's job. <laughs> How do I end it?